Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I have Damien Barton, her sidekick, with me today. And we're over here in the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley in Kyle Point, a new master plan community by TriPoint Homes. And we're actually in Alpine Ridge that just opened up um, April 22nd. And uh, we were here the other day to do model home tours and this plan two was closed out. So we're back at it again. Uh, I, this is off of 95 and Kyle Canyon Road on the way to Mount Charleston. You can kind of see the snow-capped mountains and it's a beautiful location. The nice thing about this location or this community is that there are no SIDS or LIDS. The monthly HOA is $75 and it is a gated community and it will have a little park. So we're taking a tour of plan two, which is the medium size um, floor plan here at 2623 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And it says a two bay garage with storage. More than likely that's gonna end up being a three bay garage with the other part of the garage to the back, I'll show you. Now, when you buy new construction with any builder, you're gonna have different elevations. So this has three different elevations. You have elevation A, B, and C. So the elevations determine um, the roof line of the house and the aesthetic of the house. So this one, I don't know what the elevations are, but as you can see, there's the different elevations here. Um, with each elevation, the price goes up. This one's listed at 580,000, that is just the base price, and does not include any lot premiums or any structural options or upgrades that you select. Now this price can change when, by the time you watch this video, I like that they put siding here. That's kind of unique, because you yes. don't see too many siding in Vegas. Reminds me of Midwest. Yeah. Um, so that price can change by the time you watch this video, because this community just opened up. They opened the first two phases, eight lots and sold out. They will be opening another four lots on May 20th, but there's a wait list for it. So more than likely, that's gonna be sold out as well. So each lot release, typically, because this is a very popular community, they will increase that base price. So if you want to buy in this community from the ground up, I suggest that you do it now before all the prices go up. Okay, hi. So let's take a pan through real quick. Look how large that island is. This kind of has a feel, but not as it's a little different than the plan three over it, um, overlook. Mm -hmm. So you have the beautiful great room with lots of can lighting pre-wired for a ceiling fan. This fireplace is an upgrade. I'm not sure how much it costs. And I do believe right here for upgrade, you can put sliders. Um, but right now they have it displayed as a window. I really like this feature right here. Mm -hmm. I want to do that above our bed. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes. Especially like a ceiling. Yeah. So let's save the kitchen and the primary last. So it looks like you have a little den area right here. And it kind of would have been cool if you could put a slider right here. And that way people can have access to the courtyard. This is very similar, in my opinion, to the plan three, but this feels bigger. Hmm, but glass here to make it for an yeah, exactly. Um, so then we come back this way. You have your laundry room. Now the appliances like your wash and dry and refrigerator do not come with the house. That's something extra that you would have to buy with a builder or I highly recommend that you buy it on your own. I really like that they put this glass right here so they can sh shows you what the smart fiber or smart panel looks like inside. Mm -hmm. And it looks like, I don't know if this is a luxury vinyl. It looks like a luxury vinyl, yes. Yeah, it's nice. Then you have a half bath right here. It's a great location for the half bath. 10 foot ceilings. A linen closet. And I don't know if I mentioned that this is an all single story community, which is awesome. 
See the texture in the walls? Yes, beautiful textures. And then the garage, and it looks like, oh, good. So I like that they are creating a drop zone, and then one of the plans, they had a little drop zone as well. So now this, um, I forget what they call this. What's this kind of garage floor? Epoxy flooring. This epoxy flooring is an upgrade and the builder can do it for you. So as you see, this says that it's a two bay garage, but to me, this is a three car garage because you can fit two cars right here and another car right there, but this is pretty good size. Yeah. And obviously this comes with a large tankless water heater and I do believe this would be an upgrade to choose to have a pre-plumb for a water softener. Also, if you want the um, electrical outlet for your sm solar car, what's it called, smart car? <laughs> electric car? I can't think today, it's Sunday. Electric car, you have the plug, this is an upgrade as well. All right, and you have the nice bathroom right here with the gray shaker cabinets, the white Petrofina, the double vanity, and then they converted this into a shower. I always like looking at model homes. It gets me in trouble all the time. Gets so many design ideas. <laughs> he, has, he has to tame my shopping. <laughs> Simmer down now. Simmer down. This is a good size room. Love the window. All right, we got to hurry up because people are coming. It's Sunday. It's only 1020 and people already. They're shopping. I like this wall feature. Yeah, me too. I wanted to do something like that in our house, but we decided to go with a picture ledge shiplap wall, which is a little more unique. All right, so now it's always great to get design ideas. This large kitchen, the oversized island, and it looks like they put the cooktop and the range hood in the middle. This I'm okay with. Now the other model I wasn't okay with because it just seemed very obtrusive. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't seem like it's gonna get away in the way, and it makes sense to have the sink right here. This is a great spot. Yeah, and then you have the, um, the double slider, so that's nice. You won't be able to open this one because of the pool. And it shows you um, that you can put a pool. This is actually a good-sized pool. Is that the 600? Yeah, I like foot? that. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's all we need, right? I like the water feature, too. All you gotta do is add a little fire in there. Yep. Wow, look at this huge Sub-Zero refrigerator. Yes, please. <laughs> I don't know if I want it that big. And then the pantry. And then the GE monogram cooktop. This is an upgrade. So when you buy a new construction from TriPoint, typically they'll select the structural options like the doors, um, some other features. And then you will go to the showroom and get to select your appliance packages. So this is an upgraded appliance package. They have different levels of appliances. And they looks like they have the built-in oven and microwave. Now, sometimes, obviously, this refrigerator you can get with TriPoint Homes, and, um, but it's usually more expensive than if you were to buy it on your own. It's a beast. The standard opening, I think, well, I know the, ah, I don't even want to say what the standard opening is for a refrigerator. So over here, it looks like you have probably another linen closet. Very nice. And then... I like the tall roof line, the four can lights. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's only two. I'm used to saying four. Then you also have a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. So when you buy new construction, typically the only areas that come pre-wired for the ceiling fan is gonna be the great room and the primary bedroom. Everywhere else is gonna cost extra. So when you go to the design studio, they're gonna sit with you and they're gonna help you pick your flooring, your countertops, your doorknobs, your faucets, everything is gonna be selected at the design studio. 
Same with the type of baseboards you want, the type of wall texture that you want, etc. Wow, I actually like this. Very nice. Mm. The large double vanity, and it has a very large tub with a decent sized shower. I kind of wish that they would have made this a standalone tub. So anyway, you select all these options, like the hardware, and all this starts adding up. Now, the one advice I always give in every video, this is a good size walk-in closet, is that I would definitely spend my money on the flooring. I've been through a remodel recently where I had to put all new flooring and it was not fun. Um, a lot of people say to buy, get the generic flooring that the builder provides and then do it for yourself. I don't recommend it because it's not fun and I think it's easier to do it and add it to the cost of your mortgage. And if you do flooring, I would make sure that you do hard surface flooring throughout. And if you had to have carpet, just keep it in the bedrooms, in the closets. Because this whole house typically from builders comes carpeted with the kitchens and the bathrooms and laundry room and the entry with tile flooring. Now, sometimes the generic builder grade stuff is okay, but expect to spend at least 10%, if not more, on upgrades off of the base price of the home. So this base price right now is 580,000. Remember, you're gonna have a lot premium. You're also gonna have your structural options, those add up, and then your upgrades. So this $580,000 home will more than likely end up being almost $700,000, right? For these upgrades. Mm -hmm. For the upgrades. If it were me, I wouldn't worry so much about the faucet fixtures or the hardware on the doors because that's something you can do later on in the future. And that way they don't nickel and dime you when you go to the design studio. Like the, the pools on the cabinets, that's something you can do later on yourself. But sometimes it's nice just to have it one and done, right? Anyway, guys, um, if let me see if I missed anything. Lot premiums are anywhere between fifteen to twenty five thousand. If you use their in house lender, they'll give you three percent off incentives. There's going to be one hundred and fourteen lots in here, and I think that summarizes it all. We are looking at the plan two with twenty six twenty three square feet, three to four bedrooms two and a half baths, and technically really a three car garage. Again, base price starting out at 580. If you're thinking about buying new construction here in this community, I highly recommend you reach out to me at 702-370-5112. Thank you. So we can get you on the wait list because if you like this community, before the prices go up, Jump in now, right? Right. All right, folks, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know if you have any questions and what is your favorite floor plan in this community? I think I like plan three the best. I like this one the best, plan two. Okay, well, there you go. All right, guys, have a beautiful day and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.